Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Let's talk about AI. I told you the fully functioning female robot wife will learn from you and will learn your personality and develop her own personality. So let's, today let's talk about what that means and what it looks like. Now before we begin, let's go over what it briefly is. It's $345,000 price tag. So from the get-go, we're talking about they're probably making goo gobs of profit off of each robot. So the material, parts, labor, and programming is the best man has to offer. This price can go upwards of millions, or at least a million that I know of. And I did do the story about the two men who spent lots on their dolls, including a million dollar doll. I said all that to let you know you're getting a Rolls Royce of robot in the box. It will be designed to every detail you specify from hair, you know where, what kind of freckles, what size uh, waist, and other stuff, color, you know. I also said the new skin is not the silicone stuff that we saw can peel over time. This is supposedly even more human skin-like than that, and people who have touched a silicone skin freaked out over it. I also said there was a change in the looks of the robot. It was cute or comical before, to now it's fully realistic looking female robot, fooling even the best. I read reports that some are out walking and people can't even tell. Let's talk about this for a second. I never mentioned why there was a change. This could take up an entire video by itself. And if you want me to make that video, I will leave a comment below if you want me to discuss in detail that entire change and what it meant and what it used to look like and, and what it's talking about. But first, they encountered the encountered uh, the uncanny valley. This is a theory developed in the 70s, I believe. It might have been the 60s. It said that stuff that acts human can be either loved by humans or nightmare inducing to humans and this is why i need all of you on board before i make that video people can get sick from looking at things that acts humans so the more human features the thing takes on the more weirded out humans become by looking at it till it reaches a point of fully acting human but not looking perfect and this word seems to be a sticking point for a few of you and here's the explanation a perfect human isn't the same thing as a flawless human. If something looks human and moves and acts human, but doesn't look like a real human, and I mean real, regular, average, it will cause seizures, nightmares, getting sick to your stomach, in the person that encounters it. For example, if you made a mask and you did your best on it and it spoke, people would run screaming from it. Because it doesn't look like a regular human. Because it's just a mask. And that's the point the company was trying to make before. At first they made cute female robots. You knew they weren't human, but they were really cute. So it didn't give you nightmares. But their clients begged and begged them. So what they did was hire the best makeup artists, best sculptures they could find. And instead of cute, they made very desirable beautiful almost human robots and now they're to the point where you cannot even tell they have gone they kicked it up a notch if there's nothing wrong with the thing and it moves and looks human then you don't run screaming in fact people are more attra attracted to the thing the closer it appears human and acts human so people became attached but look at this they found that the more human anything acts the more people became attached to it. You see it in kids all the time. For instance, the Teddy Rexman, you remember that? It talked and responded to the kid. And it was very cute and soft. Kids loved it and wanted it. Some psychologists warned that it was unhealthy for a kid to become so attached to a toy. But kids aren't the only ones. There are grown people that literally think they can hear one of the life-size dolls speaking to them. This is because they've grown so attached to it 
but they imagine the very best thing the silent thing says to them. I think it's a giant step in the right direction that we're talking about a speaking robot now. So let's talk about the female robot speaking and learning. So what is AI? Artificial intelligence is easily identified if you play games where there's computer players in the game, but not a static computer player. It has to freely move, that's AI. And by freely move, I mean it can move. I'm not talking about like a Farmville where you go to a store and, and, and uh, I'm, I'm describing what I think Farmville is. It's probably not what Farmville is. That you go to the store and you want to buy seeds and up pops a picture of a man. He's Bill the farmer and he has seeds for you to buy. And he says, hi, welcome to my store. What would you like to buy? And then a menu pops up of everything that he sells. And you buy the corn seeds. And the menu closes and he says, okay, thank you for shopping with me. That's not AI. That's literally just a script. AI is, well, let me continue. <laughs> let me continue. For the most part, there is no AI in games. Because when you and I say artificial intelligence, we think we're talking about machine learning. But nearly all AI today is not machine learning. What looks like the computer player thinking is nearly 99% a bunch of commands that say the following. If, if this happens, do this. If this happens, do this other thing. Now, if you get a programmer that really knows his stuff, he'll go to the next level. And that'll look like this. If this happens and this happens, do this. If this keeps happening, change it to do this. But if this happens and that happens, but not this, then do this. Otherwise, just keep doing this. Do you see how complex that is? It's a little bit more complex, right? You have uh, two, three different parameters with a fifth, a fourth, all happening at the same time. So the bot instantly knows in the game what to do and it looks like it's actually you know thinking about something so you walk through the door and five guards are in the room and they all shoot at you you duck down and the next command is to duck down too but then move around the desk to spot you and shoot you if it's really good it's the joker and he changes his voice to sound like your dead wife and starts telling you how much she's mad at you that you let her die even this is still not the real AI that you and I think of. So what is real AI? Most of you will never encounter real AI. You know the YouTube robot I talk about all the time? It's not real AI. It's literally game AI. It's just bigger. A lot bigger. Check this out. In an interview, the lead programmer said the YouTube AI wasn't made by him. He said every department through whatever they wanted to concentrate on into the YouTube robot. So literally, those political people that are offended by everything put stuff in the YouTube robot. But it still boils down to, if this happens, do this. And that's all it is. It's not learning. I don't care what they say, it's not, there's no learning to it. Real eye AI is built more than programmed. So we return to my robot. It was explained to me that the brain of the female robot was both on board, continually creating new brain, and we're not talking about it's, it has soft, pink, mushy stuff. We're talking about, I'll get to that in a second. And part of the larger brain is in the cloud. And it, it's not quite called, called a cloud. I, I apologize. I do research all day, all night. And what I've researched for each video is like, two and three sessions uh, back. So I'm telling you what I've learned and can remember about the research that I did. I spent a few days researching this. The fully functioning female robot wife is set to learn from you. So instead of this happens, then do that, it's designed to observe, ask, and repeat it. It creates a synapse for that. So if you say, come sit down, the robot comes and sits down. After a while, the robot will learn that 
hey, why don't I go get Master some hot chocolate and snuggle with him and turn on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on TV? But guess what? The same model in Bill's house would be cooking dinner instead. That's real machine learning. And in another house, Charlie is just getting home from work. And she says, hi, Chucky. It's so nice you're home. I baked some cookies and went and got ice cream for you. And Charlie is thinking, is this my birthday? This is my favorite thing in the world. Machine learning. And it learns from you. Chucky, should I dip the ice cream in chocolate for a hard crust? And Charlie says, of course you should. And uh, goes and sits down on the couch. She brings him ice cream and cookies and rubs his feet. Now, I saw an article talking about hackers. So that'll be the next video. Hacking your robot wife. <laughs> now, I already talked about controlling your robot with your mind. So I'll also include in that video hacking your wife and possibly I guess hacking you because the uh, mind control stuff is going to be attached to your body so it and you'll be in tune with the interface between you and the robot that will make give you telepathy and telekinesis with the robot you know, you'll be commanding the robot with your brain and I got further confirmation that that was in fact the case so that's what I'll be uploading next uh, please leave a like on the video I, I I know you all say that you forget. Please don't forget on my channel. Leave a comment. Tell me, do you want to see the stuff about the uh, the different levels of nightmare-inducing robots and dolls and other stuff? I'm, I'm going to leave some surprises to you. Now, I suggest if you get squeamish about looking at stuff, I warn you now, it will probably make you squeamish so don't blame me for that leave a comment if you want to see that and like the video but we're doing really good here um i had uploaded a video talking about uh, men what you should do how to win a divorce and so forth and so on nobody watched it so i don't care i don't care what people say if you say hey well, upload this video and then nobody watches it why upload it unless you um go over to patreon.com slash shikama and give me about $20, I'll put up whatever you want to, okay? There you go. <laughs> I'm not joking either. Bye.